My name is Anthony Wallace and I'm a photographer from Boulder, Colorado. I've been creating photographs for almost 20 years, starting at a young age, experimenting in collage work and portrait photography. I used to dislike referring to myself as an artist. I would say that I captured what was in front of me and I didn't do it for art. My friends would tell me that's why I was an artist. I started to think different about what is art, and I feel like what I do does have a certain level of passion and skill behind it that could qualify it as art. And I know now that I'm not just trying to capture what I see. To me, art is about exploration and expression, and ultimately I feel like my work is about experiences. Whether it's a person or a place, I'm always trying to think how could I capture this in my own unique way and turn it into my own version of what I think it should be. My number one rule as an artist is to make sure I'm doing it for myself. And while I don't see the work that I'm doing changing the world, it obviously has a strong personal value. The topic of value is complicated when it comes to art. How do you put a price on something that's so personal? There's no worse insult to an artist than having your passion described as a hobby. So if you're intending to make a living in professional art, the biggest obstacle is to find people who recognize your talents as something special and are willing to support it financially. From an early age, I came to the conclusion that depending solely on my art to make a living was not something I could count on. So I made the conscious choice to keep art and work separate wherever possible and develop other talents to find reliable income. So for the past 12 years, I've made most of my living in web development. I can keep my bills paid and at the same time develop my skills in photography and filmmaking at my own pace and follow my own rules. Of course, I still work with clients on a daily basis and that always requires compromise. In many cases, it means creating work that's nowhere near art. I found a way to separate the professional and the artist in a way where my own personal art is safe and the things I create for work is just that, work has nothing to do with art and I'm okay with that. That being said, I definitely have had some really amazing projects where I've been given full creative freedom and could incorporate my own personal style. I've seen the most success in music and film related work. I know that I've pursued a style that would be appreciated by a smaller audience and a smaller group of potential clients. I should say that I do want people to like my work. I'm not trying to be so different that no one gets it. But I'm also not going the opposite direction and changing what I do to make it more acceptable. It's important for me to know where I fit in in the professional world if I ever intend to sell art. So it's no coincidence that my work happens to work quite well for the type of projects I'd like to be doing, which is album artwork, music videos, film production, photography, film poster designs, that sort of thing. I see this work growing a lot in the past couple years for me and my goal is to eventually find my way out of all website work. But any music and film related work is kind of the stuff I actually enjoy and feel like I get to incorporate my own style. But the frequency of these kind of projects is still less than I need to be able to survive on it. So I still take quite a lot of web development work to fill in that void. So while I wouldn't say I've found financial success in my art yet, I believe I've stayed true to myself. And I found a way to use my other talents to make sure I keep a roof over my head. I love the art I create. I'm proud of the person that I'm slowly creating in myself. I'm very happy with where I live. I live a fairly comfortable lifestyle. I do pretty much whatever I want and I follow my own rules. So I'll continue to make art for myself first and I look forward to whatever experiences are still to come.